Hey everybody, welcome to the Zabe Cast, brought to you by Lining Kugels. Get your lineys today and enjoy responsibly. Scott Lynn, Al Galdi, and Lodaf Solomon joining us. We doff our caps uh, to the great Lou Albano, who had passed away this week. Galdi, would you like to deliver the eulogy? One of the all-time great managers. I think you could argue maybe the most well-known manager in wrestling history and a key figure in the WWF's national expansion of the mid 80s his involvement in the rock and wrestling connection the uh, the involvement of Cindy Lauper in professional wrestling the build up up to that first WrestleMania very key to uh, WWF success may he rest in peace yes. although not a real captain was he uh, i don't believe he was no <laughs> no i don't, I don't know he was in the army really yes huh he may not have been a captain but who knows was Captain Crunch an actual captain <laughs> from serial fame? Uh, he did have the cool captain hat. Of a, of a ship, yes. He captain and Tennille? Was he a, an actual Daryl Dragon, certified I don't believe a, uh, a real captain, captain. But, but maybe. Okay. He did wear a captain hat, and I believe he did have his own, you know. Captain Morgan? Captain Cap- Kirk? Uh, ca- yeah, well, Captain Kirk was definitely a captain. I was trying to think of, uh, well, how about Captain Steven Jackson of your Golden State Well, Warriors? he was a captain, not anymore. I know. Correct. Not no more, he ain't. Yeah. Said it was overrated and he was sick yeah. of doing it and doesn't want to be a role model. It's leadership right there. Yes. The Steven football player named Captain. What's his name? Captain Munnerlin. Yeah. I believe plays for the Carolina Panthers now. Captain Munnerlin out of South Carolina. Mm-hmm. A uh, D-back under uh, Steve Spurrier. Yes. Captain Joseph Hazelwood. Worse uh, captain no than thanks. maybe uh, Captain Stephen Jackson. If Any other worse captains ever? Well, when Chris became captain in Sopranos, I didn't think he did very good. <laughs> Capo, yeah. How about... Uh, how about Captain Stubing of the Love Boat? Everybody loves Merrill of the Pacific they Princess. Like Merrill Stubing. Was he a good yeah, captain? He was a great captain. Capable captain? Sure. Any captain that, uh, you know, dipped his uh, sextant in the ocean, you know, pretty much every week. <laughs> yeah. You, you know. think Captain Stube with his bald head was 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 waxing it on that ship, huh? Yeah, well, let he, me show you the captain's quarters. He got action. I think yeah. Lauren Tweez, that coke head who played Doug? Julie oh, McCoy, got go. up there and got busy behind the... The, the 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 big navigational wheel of the captain's quarters. How about Captain Murdoch airplane? Captain Murdoch, Captain Queeg would be another uh, famous captain. Captain Kangaroo. Yes. Uh, let's see, worst captains ever. Oh, Captain Mark James of the European Ryder Cup team that blew a seemingly insurmountable lead on Sunday at Just Brookline. The one at Brookline, yes. Because he didn't play some of his scrub players until Sunday, and they got totally wiped out. Bad captain. But Captain Lou Albano, yes, we... Yes, back to the circle. Back to the... Yes, yes. We, we tip our cap and to you, And we put Captain. a beard in our face. We put a band in our facial hair mm. as well. We should. Yeah. You know? I wish Vince would uh, re-embrace the notion of managers. He should. And and it, 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 it speaks to Vince's complete disdain for anything that he did not come up with when it comes to professional wrestling. Do you know that you are no longer allowed in WWE to wear a championship belt around your waist? He prohibits his wrestlers from doing that. Because that was an old school... Yes, he, he says that reeks of old school wrestling traditions. And so you've so, got to have it over your shoulder yes. or around your arm. Well, yeah, or, over your shoulder, yeah. Okay. Well, so, or around okay. your arm, I see what you're saying. Or just, yeah. or just holding them up like fish. Exactly. But you cannot walk to the ring with a belt around your waist. Do you still wear the belt I bought you, the replica <laughs> belt? Every morning certain, when he heads to the shower. Certain situations, yes. What belt did I buy you again? A the SmackDown a championship belt. In- incredibly realistic. One, yeah. one of the greatest gifts a man could ever receive. <laughs> Maybe this Christmas, if you're a good boy, I'll get you another belt. Ooh. If you could win another replica belt from the WWE store, uh-huh. what what would you like to win? Uh, probably the world title belt, an old replica of the NWA title belt of the, <laughs> the 80s. The big Ric Flair oh, one? Classic. A huge Woo! one. Classic. All right. Lou Albano, rest in peace, yes. my friend. Cindy Lauper, I'm sure, will be a pallbearer. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, if she can hold it. With up. those yes, twig arms? Right. I don't think so. <laughs> She'll carry the urn of ashes. How he did that? lose a lot of weight, though. Not he enough, was, for, not Cindy, not enough for Cindy Lauper to carry him, that's for sure. Oh, Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.